It doesn't require much put together. It just really requires you just paying attention to what you have already because no business, no matter how big or how small it is, is uh, uh, free to start up and it takes nothing from you to get it started. But it's going to start off almost feeling like a hobby because when you're doing freelance working, you're only going to get picked up once every, every now and again off of the work that you do unless you are doing something inside of your field and you just so happen to stray away from the company and you start doing that same work uh somewhere else where depending on what it is because depending on the job that you have you have no competition clause so you don't want to uh negatively impact your current employment by uh branching out and doing some stuff by yourself uh but let's say for example you're a writer you're an artist you like to draw uh you're a painter uh you you like to make little short videos uh you do you do good essays you, like you're a good test taker whatever whatever the the freelancers that there there's a places like fiverr and other stuff that you can use to take your your natural skills put it up there on the market make you a little bit of money off of it fact is is that you still got to promo yourself but this is a, a plethora of things that you can do inside of freelance working that actually could turn into a way that you can make some money now i'm going to start off picking these off from the one that require uh pretty much no no money but to 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 do but it is going to be a builder a builder means that you got to you you have to um put time into it in order for it to start turning over a higher profit margin in order for you to say i bet i got it i got me a good a good income here and one of those things is a blogger bloggers are people who are going to sit there and and write short stories or 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 take their life journals and and put it up somewhere and then people will read them because people like to read people who like to read will look for things to read now bloggers can actually not only make them a little bit of money by writing short stories and posting them up online they can make their own website write short stories post them up on their website people will come to their website and you can actually uh sell memberships to your website you can actually go even further and sell ads inside of your website with google adsense notice that every time you go to somebody's web page there is all kinds of ads all over the place that's because the person doesn't get paid for writing the article a lot of the times the person gets paid for the ads that are being shown while you are watching the article so with blogging you you build traffic so you focus on doing what you love building traffic on your platform and because you're building traffic on your platform advertisers will advertise stuff on your platform and because they're advertising stuff on your platform you will make money from that so that's a little bit of a side hustle it doesn't require a lot of work um it will get money over time but it is not something that's an overnight and anybody who tells you that a side hustle is going to be a start today be rich tomorrow is a lie because if that existed nobody would be working at a minimum wage job you have some random uh, uh do one deal and make a bunch of money off of it but it is one deal it is not repetitive deals it's not like you closed on a on a million dollar house your first time in real estate and that's something that happens every time where your profit is half a million dollars that's that doesn't happen that way it can happen but it's a one-off. It's like hitting the lottery. It, it is a, a rare breed, but there is a decent profit margin in there if you put in extra work. 